Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everyone. You'll notice something is a little bit different. I'm recording with a microphone on today. We have had a super windy, windy, windy day here in Nebraska. So I'm just gonna try these out and hopefully it improves our audio quality. Oh, Pepper is just sitting at my feet right now. She follows me around everywhere. She's been enjoying this nice weather and is very glad there's no snow yet. I am also glad there's no snow yet because it is allowing me to continue all of my yard cleanup projects. And speaking of yard cleanup, look what I just found packed in the gravel. That's where they all go. They just get dropped. I bet Grant lost this out of his coat pocket. All right, so if you've been around since the beginning of the year, a big goal of mine for 2023 was to completely redo my lawn. So earlier this spring, I hooked up a disc to a big tractor and completely plowed under this entire portion of our lawn. It was bare dirt for a long time, and then we got underground sprinklers put in, we planted grass seed, we planted those trees that you see behind me, and we are just continuing that project. You see on this trailer right over here, we actually have some more trees that we're going to be planting. Grant just picked these up today. I believe these are hackberry trees. Yep, there we go, grown in the United States. We actually picked these up from a neighbor who has a tree farm close to here. Excited to get these in the ground. A huge part of our lawn redoing project was the fact that we needed to expand our driveways. We have a ton of huge farm equipment coming in and out of these drives all of the time. We had some low hanging power lines that we were able to trench power to buildings, put new lights in. Uh, we installed a culvert, widened the drive so we could get a semi and a trailer more easily in and out of them. And we haven't really done much besides put that culvert in and then put white rock. We're changing that today. Here we have Gage doing a really fun job. Grant told me this machine was called a whacker packer and I do not think that's the technical term for it. I think it's more like a plate packer. But we're renting this for the next couple days and it's essentially taking our white rock from being really bumpy and uneven to just be a nice packed down base layer. We got almost an inch of rain a couple days ago and so the ground is really moist. It came in nice and slow. So this is the perfect opportunity to pack that white rock into the ground and that's gonna give us a smooth, almost concrete-like base layer. Grant is in town right now with a dump trailer and he is picking up some gravel that we're going to lay on top of that white rock. Here's what the white rock looks like now. Kind of uneven, bumpy, hard to walk across. And I'll show you what the finished product looks like. I believe it weighs about 105, 120 pounds. There's a gas motor on top. And when you throttle it up, it just vibrates a lot. Check out this finished product. Smooth, even surface. We recently planted two trees over there and we added five trees to the front of the lawn right here. I am so happy with how our grass turned out this year. This is in the backyard. You can just see it is the middle or end of December and it is still lush and green looking. We had some patches where the tires of the tractor went and you can still see them a little bit, but they're really filling in. None of these trees were here previously, so we were able to plant all of these this fall, and they are thriving. I'm already seeing an uptick in the amount of birds we have on our property. They are absolutely everywhere and loving the trees. I'm so excited for these to grow up to be taller, provide us with a nice wind break. Pepper is my little hunter. She stays on the prowl for mice and ground squirrels. She's caught birds before and even a rabbit once. Perfect. This pile is about six and a half tons of rock. And this stuff, I believe he called it base layer rock or base gravel. So it's about this size and they are really pretty. 
we borrowed this dump trailer from a friend. So Todd, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the use of your trailer. I think it's going to serve us well for this job. I'm going to not rip your doors off, not overload your trailer, return it to you in good shape. This thing is really cool. In my opinion, it's way nicer than a dump truck because you're able to have all the comfort of your pickup cab, but all the capabilities of a dump truck. It's been a while since we've done a check-in on my pickup truck. I've owned this thing for about a year and a half now. You guys came with me on my pickup shopping journey. And I have over 30,000 miles on this thing now. And I have to say, she has treated me so well. I've had no problems. The ride is so smooth and she pulled the six and a half tons of rock like it was nothing. First load of rock dumped and delivered and now back for another one. To get gravel, kind of reminds me of either hauling in a load of junk or hauling in a load of corn. But you first pull up onto a scale to see how much we weigh empty. And then we're gonna go into that little scale house there and tell her what we want. 6.71 tons, empty. I am getting another six and a half tons. So I just pull through all of these piles of different rock. They have a ton of different options and a loader will come and load me. Before he does, I'm going to get out and double check the trailer though. Just want to be sure, ah ha ha. See, that is not all the way last. Bad, do not want a bunch of rock falling out on the road. Other than that, everything looks good. The loader is going to be pulling from that pile of rock over there. This is the perfect opportunity to use these two features on my pickup, tow haul mode and full exhaust braking. All right, let's head back home. Oh, but first I have to go across the scale and let her know how much I actually got in rock. That is a really nice loader and the operator is so smooth. Look at the geese out in the cornfield. Thirteen point five six tons. There's the first pile. I think I'm gonna put the second pile here. Just going to be sure that I clip the doors around here. Open it up. Okay. Now I just go in here. controller and go up. Here is our second load of rock. Beautiful. Laura has dropped off a few loads of rock here. I chose this rock because it is like big gravel and I have Use some white rock around here to make a base. This used to be kind of a mud hole, but I really just don't like the white rock look. With the color of our buildings and the color of our house, just this natural looking gravel looks way better in my opinion. So we got a little, got a little red, a little tan, brown and blacks in there, just like our buildings. So I'm gonna spread these out and go from there. This year we took power from that pole and trenched it underneath the ground to our big machine set so we could have power. You can see the lights on in there. And so that has created kind of a mud patch right here. So I'm going to cover that up. And I'm just tired of dragging mud into the shop all the time. It's 
usually not that big of a problem when it's dry, but we've had a lot of rain here recently and it's just made the yard kind of a mess. This little tiny gravel just doesn't do very much for these big tractor tires in the mud. These tires pick up a ton of mud. I'm just tired of cleaning that up in the shop. So we're gonna do something about it today. I'm going to take the forks off our skid steer. There's a T595 Bobcat and put the smooth face bucket on. got all of the rock laid out and smoothed just in time to get an inch of rain and then uh, not a big snow but enough that we had a white Christmas. As this is the last video of 2023, I just wanted to say thank you for following along on my farming journey. I will continue to put out as many videos as I possibly can in 2024. I have so much fun doing this. We have another big year coming up ahead. I'm already working on uh, some surprises for you guys, but I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart and also from Grant and Gage and everyone else who has a part in the channel, thank you for watching. We really do love you guys and appreciate you. And I hope you are entertained and learn something because I learn something new on the farm every single day. I hope you guys had the merriest Christmas and a very happy new year. And we will see you in 2024. Bye.
I am speechless and eternally grateful to this opportunity. This is incredible.